Hello there everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we are starting the very long process of furnishing the Baroque Palace build that we started building last week. Um, so this is part two of the Baroque Palace mini series. I'm gonna start calling it that because yeah, this is gonna be a multiple part speed build that is going to be released every wednesday so happy wednesday to all of you i hope you're all doing well so on today's agenda we are going to be furnishing a lot of the public rooms that are going to be in the palace um, starting with the vestibule or as i'd like to call it the marble vestibule that we are furnishing right now um, it's mostly inspired by the details in the Palace of Versailles, which I did mention quite a bit in my previous video for this. And I'm also using a lot of CC that is inspired by the Palace of Versailles itself, um, mostly from Felix Sander, but also from the Gym 07, who I have known since the late 2000s. I've known the Gym 07 since like maybe 2008, when they started making CC in Mod The Sims for The Sims 2. They were already making Versailles CC for The Sims 2. Um, I used to be really active on websites like Mod The Sims and other Sims forums before YouTube actually became a thing, so really really happy that I still have some, you know, recognizable faces from over 10 years ago creating CC. It's actually amazing. And the Gym 07, they're still continuing to make CC even until now which is amazing but yeah this is the vestibule and I think probably the most standout feature of this build would have to be the split leveling actually which you guys saw there's a little mini grand staircase on the vestibule and yeah there's really not an actual grand staircase in this build because there's no second floor as I mentioned in the last build most of the upstairs is just basically making room for the ceilings because I did use some really elaborate vaulted ceilings from Regal Sims which these are pieces of CC that I've had for years now and I don't think I've ever gotten to use them in a build um, especially for YouTube I have definitely used them in my personal builds but definitely not for YouTube um, but yeah, that little archway right there in the vestibule that leads to this foyer, we are going to change it because I was very indecisive with which archway I wanted for that part. Um, initially I went for like a more classical looking one. That one right now looks a bit Romanesque, it looks a bit out of place for the overall style that I went with, so I actually went and replaced the original one that I chose for this area, so you'll see me replace that in just a little bit. But I did say that in this house, there are quite a lot of, I would say, like, unnecessary rooms, but that is because I did make this for a royal palace. Um, so we have, you know, rooms that would normally be more for like practical purposes and this one doesn't really have a practical purpose to be honest it's a vestibule it's kind of just actually i i think this is more of a foyer um because the vestibule is like the entrance and then the foyer is kind of like um like a room that precedes an even more important room um, that's what I'd like to think. I'm sure there's a more technical um, definition for it. I honestly should be the one who knows this because I'm the one with the architecture degree. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting all my architectural te terminology, especially for history of architecture because it's not something that I necessarily use in my everyday life. As you all know, I work more of as a draftsman right now, so I don't really get to um, have a lot of experience when it comes to you know, architectural history outside of The Sims, which is why I love exploring, you know, architectural history in my videos because it's a chance for me to really share my passion and talk about my interests because in real life, all I do is make technical drawings and it's actually really boring. If you don't know what technical drawings are, these are basically things like floor plants and elevations, basically things that are being sent onto the job site so that the builders can actually build it on site. 
So anyway, um, this is probably the most fabulous of all of the rooms. This is my kind of recreation of the hollow mirrors. I did get some suggestions in my last video to recreate some sort of a version of a hollow mirrors and this is it. Um, this was part of the original plan. Um, it's kind of like a mini version of the hollow mirrors even though it doesn't really have a lot of mirrors actually. Um, I would say the foyer that we just furnished has more mirrors than this one. I would say this is the Hall of Marbles. Is there a thing? <laughs> the Marble Hall. Or actually the Marble Gallery sounds better, right? Marble Gallery. Because I did use these marble wallpaper from the Gym 07. They're so beautiful. They're so handy as well. I think they really match the style of this house. And they feel very Baroque as well. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm also using a longer version of the ceiling from Regal Sims because the ceiling that they have on their site, it comes in two sizes. There's a like, square-ish one and then there's a more longer one. I'm sorry for all of that background noise, by the way. There's, For some reason, there's a lot of traffic right now, even though it's like 2 a.m. So, Also, apologies if I sound a little bit tired right now. I had a long day working and I'm just really finding time to record this right now. So. Yeah. Anyway, good luck to me, but yeah, that is the Marble Gallery. Really, really loved it. It's another one of those, like, not really useful rooms. Um, I don't really know what to call them, but, you know, we have a lot of unnecessary rooms. Because this is a palace, it, it's allowed because it's a palace, okay? That's my excuse for making so many unnecessary rooms. Also, I do imagine the marble gallery to be some sort of a ballroom because it's so large i feel like it would be okay to make it into a ballroom actually and now we are actually um, doing a little bit of a detour here um, you're not supposed to see this until maybe way later in the series because this is me actually starting work on the kitchen. I'm just planning out where the kitchen's gonna be. Um, I knew that if I did this much later, I would have had a much harder time to incorporate it once the house itself is almost done. So I knew that I had to build it while the house was still being built. So the kitchen is underground actually. I had to make room for it. It's basically like a cellar kitchen. I know that the kitchen in Petit Trianon um, is I believe in the ground floor or was it in the basement? I think it was in the ground floor actually so that was kind of like the inspiration for that. But we will definitely furnish the kitchen much much later um, probably in part four the last part of the series so keep an eye out for that. If you have any CC suggestions for you know historical kitchens please let me know because so far I haven't found any that I could see being usable in this build. A lot of the kitchen CC are more contemporary, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And now we're working on probably the most important room in this house, which is the throne room. Because I feel like without this room, this would just be an ordinary house, but of course with the throne room, it automatically makes this into a royal palace. So yes, um, that canopy above the throne is actually supposed to be Marie Antoinette's um, canopy, it's the one over her bed, but it does have a red swatch and it feels very royal because of how elaborate it is, so I went ahead and used it as the canopy for the throne. The layout actually of this reminds me so much of Buckingham Palace for some reason, um, where the throne room is like on the end of like a series of rooms. Actually, this is also a similar layout to Versailles. Actually, this is more similar to Versailles than Buckingham Palace, actually. In real life, I feel like this part of Versailles would probably be the um, Peace Gallery or War Gallery, either one of those, because they are kind of symmetrical. On the other side, there's another room that is planned to be the dining room. Anyway, here I am just incorporating these marble wallpaper that I really, really love. 
and I feel like they're very striking. The red color on them looks beautiful. I think they really contrast really nicely with the gold, all of the gold. And I really love the ceiling that I chose for this room right here. I don't recognize most of the ceilings that I used in this build. I feel so bad, but I should really um, know the ceilings. But I did try to contextualize them. Ceilings that depict what the room is supposed to be, I tried to specifically, you know, show that in my choice of ceiling, basically. I don't know why I stuttered there. That was all I was trying to say. Also, that throne right there is going to be replaced with this one, which is actually from um, the Gym 07. And I also discovered a new CC creator, actually, by the name of SSTS. I believe they are strange storyteller sims and they have a beautiful series beautiful collection of um, historical furniture historical sets and i'm going to be using a lot of them in this build you've already seen the chair that originally was the throne that one is from them and also this room that we're furnishing right now i'm going to be using um, one of their items as well the table from their beautiful historical dining room. This is actually probably the first time in a build ever where I actually lost money. Yes, because a lot of the historical furniture they used here are actually really expensive. So yeah, you guys just saw me, you know, um, do a little mother load over there. But this room is kind of like the anteroom to the king's bedroom. Um, I would like to think of this as kind of like the game room. I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever I think of the king's apartments, I immediately think it should have a game room or a council room. There is going to be an office for the king, but it's more of an office slash library, not really a council room. So this one, I see it as more of like a, you know, game room. Unfortunately, we don't have any like roulettes or any um, tabletop games that I could have used to make this into a game room. So it functions more of like a living room or drawing room actually. I feel like the king's drawing room sounds like a good name for this place. But I did use that beautiful brocade wallpaper that I will change because if you can't see there's a little like there's a little incomplete part of the bottom wallpaper that just sticks out of the um, split level that I didn't like. So we will change it probably in the next part. And yeah, um, I used a predominantly red color scheme for this room, which is going to be a consistent theme throughout the king's bedroom because I feel like it just, you know, red just screams royal, even though, um, you know, some people say royals have blue blood, but the color red for their wallpaper. You know, I think the king's apartment in Versailles, like his state apartment, have red wallpaper, so. Oh, here I am just checking the ceiling for the king's game room so yeah, i really really like that these chandeliers are from felix sander they're beautiful and i'm also using some of those marie antoinette like corbel details um, on the ceiling as well just to add some little accents and i'm also going to be replacing those canaletto paintings um one of them i will move into the a king's office but i will change those later on as well but looks like that's going to be it for this build actually so i hope you all enjoyed it um, and please let me know if you have any suggestions i'm really really open to it this build is still very much a work in progress so if you have any suggestions now is the time to let me know in the comments below but other than that i think i'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching you all have an awesome 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 day enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys next time bye bye